You are watching PunkTV.ca, streaming videos on demand 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Now with over 15,000 assets from videos to interviews, photos and reviews of CDs, movies, and hot new products. PunkTV.ca is your web TV magazine, so keep watching PunkTV.ca. Here from punktv.ca. We're here with Miss Derringer from Los Angeles, California. How you guys doing? Awesome. All right, so uh, why don't you guys introduce yourselves and uh, tell us what you do in the band? I'm Lightning Bill Woodcock. I play lead guitar. I'm Liz McGrath and I'm the singer. I'm Morgan Slade. I play rhythm guitar. And I'm Cody James. I play drums. And we have a bassist as well, Sylvan Dimizan. However, he's at a bar watching the European Championships right now. Doesn't he know this is punktv.ca? <laughs> He's French. <laughs> He's what? He's French, so, so the whole soccer That's craze. Excuse. All right, all right. So, <laughs> all right. So uh, you guys have had a couple of uh, lucky breaks, but before we talk about that, I know you guys worked hard for them. Uh, tell us about uh, getting all the way up to North by Northeast here, and uh, how did you guys get on the festival, and what's it been like uh, coming to Toronto? Um, well, it's been great so far. We just got into town today. Um, we are, we're on a tour with a bl opening for Blondie on their uh, 30th anniversary Parallel Lines tour. So while we're at some off days, we came up here. We got hooked up through John. We actually played last year here. And John Kastner, who kind of, I guess, organizes the festival, set us up with a good show and stuff. So we're hoping uh, it'll be great opening for Red Cross and stuff. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. So, um, yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun. We're all looking forward to it. So. Awesome. So what's it like playing with Blondie? Uh, are you guys able to uh, talk with her? Or is she enigmatic and uh, goes right to her dressing room after the shows? Oh, she's awesome. I mean, we've only got to talk to her a couple times, but um, she's, she's, I, I always get really nervous around her because she's like an idol of mine. Well, being a female singer, is, is she one of the key uh, influences for you? Definitely. She's definitely one of them. All right. So um, you guys uh, get to do a, a full set opening for Blondie? Um, yeah, we do, what, like half hour, 40 minutes, something like that. Yeah, pretty much a full set. So. And uh, now uh, you guys uh, actually got to do some big shows with uh, our buddies in uh, Bad Religion as well? Yeah, um, a couple months ago down in L.A. we did like three or four Southern California shows with them. And um, what else do you guys have going on right now? Uh, our new record, right. Winter Hill, okay. with who's John Kastner is producing. John Kastner, who Morgan mentioned. All right, so you're going to do that up here or down in L.A.? We're going to do that down in L.A. Um, we'll go into pre-production when we get back and hopefully record in August. So and get it out as soon as possible. So and we have a two-song EP that he produced that's out now called Black Tears that has like Black Tears and one other song on it. So. How much longer are you guys going to be touring before you go back to L.A.? We're here till about the end of June, so going through the east coast of the U.S. mostly. Oh, good. So um, what else have we missed? What else do you guys have going on right now? Uh, show with Red Cross tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Looking forward to that. Yeah, no, none of them for quite some time. Oh, have you? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, they're from L.A. too, so you know, they've, been, they've been down there forever. Are you guys um, excited about what's happening in L.A., the resurgence of uh, rock and roll and 80s-style metal? Is that exciting to you guys? Well, it's it's not that predominant at this point. Well, I, I think we're more excited about what's going on with us down in LA. You know, <laughs> LA's really been good to us. LA's really embraced us, and and now we're so we're on the road trying to expand our our, uh, our presence in the rest of the country. And and it's we're, we're having a great time everywhere we go, and people are really responding well to what we're doing. So where can kids learn more about you guys? Um, on the the MySpace. It's a uh, MySpace. .com. What's that? MySpace. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's kind of like this. Uh, like a diary thing, but on the computer. On the computer? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, mi uh, myspace.com slash Miss Derringer, and that should have all our updated info. All right, well, we've got two questions that we ask everybody. The first question is, which of the following experiences have you had? Have you seen the face of God? Have you had an alien encounter, or have you seen a ghost? I've had all three, actually, all three. <laughs> Were you sober for all of that? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. I'd have to say all three, too, but I don't. I probably wasn't exactly sober for most of that. Uh, I haven't seen any, but I kind of think that God is an alien ghost, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. It's, it's strange how many times I hear that, actually. <laughs> I think I've seen a couple ghosts in my time, but, you know, I think everyone has. All right, last question we got for Miss Derringer here is, uh, what would surprise kids most to learn about your band? I'll start over here, because I'm not exactly <laughs> sure. 
What would surprise kids the most to learn about our band? Is that you can rock really hard substituting reverb instead of distortion. And anyway, that's what we do. Talent's important, and obviously back to uh, skillmanship and playing. Absolutely, absolutely. Actually, our, our songs are truly from the heart. Morgan's, Morgan's an awesome songwriter, and, uh, and again, people love what we do. And it, it, it comes down to not just the, the personalities in the band and whatnot, but it's the, the songs. It comes down to actual, real, true, good songwriting, which you don't get a lot of nowadays. Seems to be missing. What do you think? What would surprise kids most to learn about you guys? Oh, my God, him first. <laughs> The thing that surprised kids most to learn about us is that Lee, our uh, lead guitarist used to be in a wrestling punk band. <laughs> That's a great combination. Punk rockers all love wrestling. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're, they're punk and wrestling are, are they're, I mean, it's almost the, the same thing, you know. It was, it, was, it, was, it was like peanut butter and chocolate, you know. <laughs> What's it like being a, a woman in an all, all boy band, all guy band, all man band? Are, are the hormones, do they get too excessive sometimes? <laughs> oh, their hormones are outrageous all the time. <laughs> no, it's actually, um, these guys are all sweethearts and this is my husband, so that's been really fun. I was in a hardcore punk band for many years before this as the lead female vocal and it was not fun. <laughs> oh, really? It was very, very not fun. <laughs> Which band was that? It, we were called Tongue, we were like an L.A. band. And, I think our, we'd go on tour and our band would break down and we'd be stuck in a state for two months and <laughs> like, trying to work at fast food restaurants to get money to leave town. <laughs> you know your band's not going anywhere when. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're stuck in a state for two months because you don't have enough money to pay for the carburetor to get fixed. Exactly. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay, so um, we've been uh, talking to Miss Derringer from Los Angeles, California, and uh, you can check them out at myspace.com slash slash Miss Derringer. TV.ca for all the best modern rock videos and interviews.